Okay, okay. Now, which of you maroons has ever played basketball before? You're listening to the weekly KMO Titans update on CKMS Radio Waterloo. You are listening to the weekly CKMS Radio Waterloo KW Titans update. Last night at the Kitchener Auditorium, the Sudbury Five definitely showed in a one-sided game over the KW Titans last night. A bit of a rough start for the Titans in the first quarter. It seemed like they were getting stopped by some good defensive efforts from the five. They weren't making many field goals and it just didn't seem like anything was going in. In the second quarter, the defense beyond the arc seemed laggy. A lot of turnovers, a lot of fouls, and the five making a lot of three throws. Titans coming back at the end of the second quarter, gaining some ground third quarter there was a good start and bringing it back within single digits at this point they are umping their defensive efforts for sure the ball is getting into more of the titans hands although it still feels like the five haven't figured out the five just keep making threes the titans back down to 20 points and by the fourth quarter the five continue to gain on the titans outplaying them in this game for sure I noticed Bland on the other team going 6 for 14 from the three-point range and 10 for 21 overall. Marlon Johnson of the Sudbury Five scored 14 points, 9 rebounds, rookie Brady Skeens 10 points, and Josiah Moore 9 points for the Sudbury Five. They uh, had some improved outside shooting and... They also did some good work in the paint and under the hoop. They obviously out-rebounded them, doubling offensive rebounds. That uh, Jarius J.R. Holder fella dropped a game-high 30 points for Sudbury, so uh, that's pretty pretty darn good. KW went 9 for 36 from the three-point range compared to Sudbury's 17 for 46. A big difference from the three-point line and off the glass. Sudbury had 29 points in second chance points, so there's just a lot of stuff there that uh, contributed to the factors of the Titans' loss. However, their players did have some good performances. Um, Jared Nickens, who led the way with 18 points, followed by Damon Lynn with 16 points. And we caught up with Marvin Phillips and Damon Lynn post game i'm here in the odd with marvin uh tell us a little bit about yourself your position for our listeners power forward um that's inside the paint for anybody who don't really know what the positions are and how they specify on the basketball court but um big man in the paint playing defense getting rebounds you know doing all the dirty work Tonight, you guys had a loss. The other day, you had a win against Sudbury. Tell us how you're feeling. Uh, well, we knew this uh, coming into this game. It wasn't going to be an easy game. You know, it's pretty much a back-to-back game against the same team. And, you know, we won the first game. And if I'm not mistaken, it, this was their first win tonight. So they were already down two. So they had a little bit of edge on their shoulder. They, they started the game out with a lot of fire. And um, we didn't start off uh, playing Titan basketball. Like, we were down a little bit. So we had to, you know pick ourselves up individually and together as a team but um fortunately for them you know they they kept their their spunk the whole game and it was just a struggle for us i saw a lot of offense for them on the arc they were getting a lot of threes tonight yeah 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 they are a good uh three-point shooting team but you know that's it's the name of the game like every team could shoot threes you know we just gotta play better defense you know put a hand in the face they make it it's a tough shot they miss it good for us (laughs) yeah so you guys got a game in London on Saturday. You're going to be in St. John's next week. You're going to be back at the end of next week in Ontario. Where are you guys going to be looking at in the tape? Uh, we take um, one game at a time, one quarter at a time. Mm-hmm. You know, So right now, this game is over. We concentrate on London next. And then after London, then we'll worry about who we play, at, who we play next. So right now, we'll get back to the drawing board tomorrow at practice. You know, We'll be ready for London on Saturday. Sounds good. Thank you very much. 
Here I am with Damon. Uh, thank you very much for having some time with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your position for our listeners. Uh, Damon Lynn. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, point guard. Uh, I can play off the ball as well. Just uh, do it everything, do all type of guy. I bring a lot of heart to the team. That's what I am. Uh, we noticed today you guys obviously had a little bit of lagging on the defense there. What are you guys going to be looking for going into the next games? Uh, just energy. Uh, we're going to watch the game, make some adjustments. We play them a lot this year, so we got to adjust to, to their playing style, to their, their guys. And uh, like I said, just energy. We just got to come out and just want it more. Whoever wants it more in this league usually gets it, so we just got to change our energy. And then you guys are going to be going to London on the weekend. It could be St. John's next week. Uh, Marvin said you guys just play it one game at a time. Is there anything you guys could be looking at going into your away games? Uh, just always stay locked in. With travel and all that, things get a little wacky. You start worrying about the wrong things. If we stay locked in, we'll be fine. Though. Like Mar said, one game at a time. Okay, thank you very much. I would like to thank the media team at the Titans, Damon and Marvin, for giving CKMS a couple of minutes of their time. Now, as for the KW Titans, they have a road trip. They go to London this Saturday, 7 p.m. Then they go out east to St. John's to face the Edge for Tuesday and Wednesday, back-to-back games. Then they're back in Ontario for a Windsor game on Friday. And then back home next Tuesday, January 14th, which is a school day game at 11 a.m. in the morning. Make sure you book it off or something like that when you get your tickets. Get some good basketball. Head on down to the odd next Tuesday. If not, go on a little road trip this weekend to London. Support the KW Titans. Some real good professional basketball. I really do enjoy it. Make sure you head on over to Radio Waterloo on Facebook and Twitter. Follow our updates during the game and these episodes on demand. That is it for this CKMS KW Titans weekly update.